Matthew asks, new to the hobby, picked up a Yusu 736, got FM working good, but now I want to do sideband. Is there antenna I can make as a Yagi? It's our expensive. I am on a budget. Um, yeah, you can make the two meter uh, uh, tape measure uh, Yagi antenna. That's yeah. a real, real popular antenna for mm -hmm. uh, fox hunting. And it's just made out of a piece of PVC. Um, go to Harbor Freight, get yourself a um, uh, tape measure. Uh, the, the the wider ones, you know, mm -hmm. work work really really well. But um, cheaper cheaper the better too at Harbor Freight. Remember, <laughs> <laughs> a twenty five footer is all you need. So if you're you going to find the coupon for a free tape measure. Right there, there you go. Yeah, then you're only in it for the PVC. Yep. <laughs> I got a video on how to make one. Um, so if you just type, if you just go and type tape measure Yagi, um, tape measure Fox hunt antenna, tape measure beam antenna, you'll probably mm -hmm. come up to my video and it'll, you can make it, you can make it in a, in an evening hour. So it's a yeah. fun little thing. Another one that we haven't talked about in a long time mm -hmm. is a two meter boxing. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, anyway, that's basically a small directional antenna that you just same thing. PVC and wire is all you really mm -hmm. need. Um, so you're in it for maybe 25 bucks plus the coax. If that, if that, mm -hmm. yeah, the moxins, you could, yeah, just, yeah, make a frame out of PVC and mm -hmm. um, you can, you can like tape some wire to it. You know, I've done that for the six meter one. So that would work for the two meter one, you know, the, the two meter version. And um, they're actually, moxins are really great directional antennas because they've got uh, a tremendous front to back ratio. Mm -hmm. So they're really good at, um, you know, just isolate, you know, isolating, isolating that signal. Not a whole lot of gain, but that front to back really just, just, you know, um, does a great job at um, reducing your, you know, or increasing your signal to noise ratio, reducing your noise floor. So. Yep. Yeah. So those are, those would be the two real easy ones. You can make a two meter dipole too um, at 19 and a half inches on, a, on each side. Mm -hmm. um, that would perfectly work as well. As long as it's horizontally polarized, you know, anything really for sideband should be horizontal. Um, yep. But yeah, I would go with those and uh, have fun. The two meter dipole is pretty cool. If you make it out of rigid material, maybe like with copper tubing or aluminum or something, then you can rotate it. And um, dipoles don't have a whole lot. They've got a little bit, but not much directivity. So um mm -hmm. You know, rotating the dipole can give you just a little bit of a little bit of directivity. Yep. So. Absolutely. So yeah, go ahead, Matthew. Uh, try one of those. Let us know how they work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that should give you some. That gives you at least three uh, three good ideas for for inexpensive sideband antennas. So hey, anything we've done entire shows that didn't have three good ideas. <laughs> So you're yeah you're you're <laughs> you're yeah ahead of the game. <laughs> yep. KB9VBR antennas are simple, effective, and affordable VHF and UHF antennas for amateur radio, MERS, public safety, and GMRS. Made in the USA with quality parts. Get yours online at jpol-antenna.com.